Hi guys. Um, first of all, the lighting is different because it's too fucking hot to turn on the overhead light. And I say this while wearing a black cardigan because y'all are not going to see my arms. No. Um, anyway, I'm here today with a book haul. I got some more books. There's kind of a theme, a lot of Greek mythology, a lot of vampires, and one classic book that I got on my dad's recommendation, which you will see. So without further ado, let's just get right in, jump right into this. Let's, let's go. Picking off the pile, the first book is Blood of the Vampire by Florence Marriott. This is the other vampire novel that was released the same year as Dracula, and it's one of the books that I'm reading for my thesis for college. But obviously I had to pick it up because I need more vampire books on my shelves, and I mean, this cover's gorgeous. Naked Lady. I feel like I should have probably warned y'all about that. Okay, so yeah, Naked Lady. This is... Like, I really don't know how to summarize this for you, except that it's another vampire, it's post-colonial, possibly lesbian, but she's not a vampire in like the traditional sense of vampirism. She's actually a psychic vampire and just sucks the energy out of everyone until they die. I know somebody like that. Anyway, there's this. And as you can see, it's been read and thoroughly tabbed. Of course, if we're gonna talk about vampires, we have to include one very specific vampire everyone's favorite lesbian vampire and that would be Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan Le Fanu. Yes, this is everyone's favorite lesbian vampire. I had to pick it up because queerness is a big part of my thesis. So yeah, I picked it up. It's gorgeous. This copy is obviously covered in bats, which a hundred out of ten. Then of course this copy also has illustrations like this one. This book is amazing. I already read it, as you can see by like the tabs. This has completely usurped Dracula as vampire favorite. Like, I just can't get enough of Carmilla and Laura and their story and the endless possibilities that this book holds. This book is amazing and I'm never gonna shut up about it now. Then I picked up this book that I actually saw on Instagram. I forgot who exactly hauled it and I was like, wait, I need that in my collection. I need to read that ASAP. Even if I don't 100% get to use it in my thesis, I really, really want to, or at least try. And that is this book called In Search of Dracula, The History of Dracula and Vampires Completely Revised by Raymond T. McNally and Radu Florescu. There you go. <laughs> it's very shiny. This is a nonfiction book that follows like the history of vampires. It also obviously discusses the origin of like the real man behind the supposed like legends and stuff like that and yes I just had to pick it up this is my first time picking up vampire nonfiction, and I'm very very excited like just yes a hundred out of ten like all of these books I'm super excited for and I wish I wasn't in a reading slump so that I could actually sit down and read something for once now we can talk about that one odd book out of like all of them and that's this and that is a thousand thousand that would be a hundred years of solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez this book I have no idea what it's about I was in Barnes and Noble with my dad and he was like oh have you ever read a um, hundred years of solitude but obviously he tells me this in Spanish and I'm like no I'm I've not read that and he's like well you haven't read books if you haven't read that and he was kind of like really excited to get me to read it and we could like talk about it so here it is. It's pretty thick. I have no clue what this book is about. <laughs> I just picked it up because my dad was like so excited. So yeah, it's the odd one out. Now we're gonna move on to the Greek mythology section of this haul and I am so excited for all of these books. Like they are so good. The first book is A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. And this book follows the women after the end of the Trojan War. That's all I know. I saw it on TikTok, actually, on BookTok, and I just knew I had to pick it up because I feel like in a lot of Greek mythology books, whether they're retellings, the myths themselves, etc., we always focus a lot on the men, and I really wanted some woman-centric Greek mythology, Greek mythology-inspired books. So yeah, that's what this is and it was 20% off at Barnes & Noble. <laughs> then there is actually another nonfiction book and that would be Venus and Aphrodite by Bethany Hughes, a biography of desire. And this kind of just follows Aphrodite slash Venus as 
a goddess from her earliest forms un up until like modern interpretations of her. And again, this is something I saw on Bookstagram and fell in love with. One, because the cover is gorgeous. Like, how can I not fall in love with this? And two, I am a raging pagan. And I was like, well, it'd be interesting to read this for that reason. But also as a historian and someone who wants to work in the field, I feel like I need to do more digging on my own. And so this is one of the books I picked. Also like a very short book. It's not not that many pages. The last book in this haul is actually a collection of Greek myths, Greek, Roman, I think, and Norse. And that would be Edith Hamilton's mythology, Tales of Gods and Heroes. This is the 75th anniversary, like, pretty gorgeous edition with illustrations. Yeah, I was on a roll at Barnes and Noble and I saw this in person. I really couldn't help myself. It's stunning. There are beautiful color illustrations throughout the book. I'm not gonna be able to find another one, am I? And just, it's so cool. And I really want to read the Greek myths as they are, and like the original Greek works before diving in too deep into studying like Greek mythology, culture, etc. I have to start somewhere and I feel like, you know, the myths, the old things are the best place to start before moving on into other spaces. So yeah, I picked this up. Obviously this is not like a complete thing of all the myths. There's tons of myths. And there's also like, you know, works by Homer, works by Ovid for Rome and things like that. So yeah, I digress. This is the last book in the haul and it is heavy. And with that, I bid you adieu. I will be back in the next video. Bye bye.